Okay, for this one, this one was a request for um, leveling up cards. Um, so there are a few different types of cards everyone needs to understand. There are master collection cards. There are event cards. There are support cards. And then there are ultra rares. Um, all these take different catalysts and different things to level up. Um, when you get to the ev Master Collection cards, which will either be a times 5 with the events over or a times 13 during the event, uh, there's no catalyst to level these up. You get these cards at 6 stars automatic. So you have event cards, and then you have um, support cards, and then the ultra rares. Um, the support cards and ultra rares both take the exact same thing to level up. You get those during the event. Uh, the only difference is that the ultra rare takes twice as much. Um, henceforth, why it's an ultra rare. Um, the event cards, though, they're a little tricky. Um, I don't think I have any that are just lying around, but I can show some examples. So here are some examples of some support cards that I've gotten uh, through uh, packs as I've bought them. So if you look here, they take these particular things to evolve up to this next level. Now, all this stuff that I'm going to show you, and every card takes different stuff, um, you can get in mainly one spot with the exception of a few things. Um, all these cards you see here are support cards. None of them are event cards. I don't... All my event cards are pretty much already maxed out, um, with the exception of these dragoons. Um, these are very rare catalysts, and I'm still working on trying to get these. Um, let's see, uh, this isn't necessarily an event card, but this will show you like a catalyst. Okay, so. Generally, when you get a card, you're going to get it at four stars. To go from four stars to five stars, you'll need a Water Essence 5, whatever that particular event requires, and then you'll need a Launch Tight Shard. Um, I don't think I have anything that requires a Launch Tight Shard right now either to show you. Now the Queen might. Nope, she wants a Feather. Uh, every now and again, you'll get one that gets a feather that's actually extremely rare. I don't think I have a lot. Um, so, the shards can be purchased out of the... That's not it. Out of the uh, event store. And... Uh, We'll take it. Nope. I think wardens all take the deep moss horn. I know that one does. You might. There it is. There's a the launch type. Okay, so um, you can get the launch type, and you can usually get one entire shard to make one full whatever it is for an event card um, out of the store. If not, there are a few other places that you, uh, another place you can go. So if you go to the main page, without opening a pack by accident, you go down to the dust store. And then when you go over to Catalyst, here's where you can buy an entire Altera's tier for 400 dust, the scale, the Golem Heart, the horn, the launch site, the feather. They're all here. Now for the other stuff, the shards, if you just need individual shards, are 50 dust per shard. They're all here. This is extremely timely and expensive to do it this way. But sometimes you don't have a choice. Um, there's been lots of times that I've only needed one or two shards to finish something off. And this is the best way to do it right here now if you have enough and you've been playing enough 
you come down here to the dungeon and if the dungeon's gone you can go to Temple of Gold to access it and then your daily dungeon if you click on this here are all of the actual catalyst now these aren't shards this is the whole thing so it's 50 coins to do this at best you get four a day if you buy all of them out of the event uh, you can you can gather some up um, this is the only other way to get the required catalyst that you need to level up an event card or a warden. Now, same principle with the support cards. When you get to support cards, like I said, they require, everything's a little different. They require these weird things. If you go back to the daily dungeon, and you can do it via that way, as, uh, I'll show you how to do it that way as well. If you pick one of the affinities up here, let's say fire, here are all the individual catalysts that you need for all the support cards for every single one that's ever come through this game. Fire, do it the right way, water, earth, light, and dark. If you do it through the card, which is actually a little easier, you just click on the card, click on Evolve, and then pick the one you need. Okay, and then it tells you right now that you can get unlimited from the Daily Dungeon by three now by clicking on that. And then you just buy until this counter up here that says 0 of 10 gets up to 10 of 10. And then you'd back out and you'd move on the next one until all these were highlighted. And then as long as you have 170 gold, boom, then you're able to level it up. The next question that people have been asking is awakening. Uh, to awaken, you have a couple options. Um, they have to be two of the same light card. I'll kind of show you this, but I'm not going to do it. So if you take this card, shows I can awaken him, click on it, I can awaken him with him, and it adds a certain percentage, you sacrifice the one card, and then you're able to awaken him and make him more powerful. Um, you never awaken anything unless it's six stars, because if you go to, if, if you awaken a five star card, and then you go to uh, advance it and evolve it to a six star, you just lost that awakening. Um, it's extremely costly and timely to make multiple six star cards unless they're, you know, leftover event cards. I really personally do not recommend doing that. Um, if you see, I've had at one point in time six of these cards and I just awakened all of them and I, I, I regret it to this day. Now that these decks are becoming more and more useful again, awakening them, like here's a giant I awakened. <clears throat> On some of these cards that I have awakened, I'm not so upset about, because like with this Sugar Sniper, I still have a full deck even though I awakened her. With this Mystic Madam Janine, I, even though I awakened her, I have a full deck um, the Sycamore Royal Guard I should not have done, but it, it is what it is. Um, the Mutant Marauder I shouldn't have done, but I've already replaced that with a newer style deck, which is what these, uh, Mangling the Wicked's are, and then the Menacing Tick Blang, and then of course the Oswing Stalking Ghoul. So I've basically replaced that deck with a new Dark deck. Um, but if you're going to awaken a card, use the Wisps. That's what they're there for. They're to, uh, allow you to keep cards in your deck and, uh, 
level these up instead. So use these to awaken your cards versus doubled up cards. Unless you've got like six or seven support cards and you're just trying to get rid of them. But even then, honestly, if you have that many cards that you've collected over the course of the event and you don't want any more, to me, if they're six stars, they're more valuable as 400 dust than they are as awakening. Um, I pretty much don't awaken anything anymore. You need Altira's tier for every single event card that you're going to uh, level up. And that gets extremely expensive. Um, if you look at some of the decks I've already built, you'll understand why I mean that. So, Evergreen is an event card. I had to level her up twice. That means I had to have two Altira's tiers. Um, Galena was an event card. I had to level her up. Uh, Primo, I had to level him up. Esmir Haldor, I have two of him. I had to level him up. That's two Altira's tiers right there. Uh, Ilona, that's two event cards. I had to level her up twice. Uh, I have two of the menacing tick ballas. I had to level them up twice. So if you get multiple event cards, uh, the uh, hulking go uh, golem, those are event cards. I had to level them up twice. So when you get into the realm where you're starting to build high damage decks, where you're doing multiple, multiple event cards, um, and you're getting support card after support card. Use the support cards after the event, but instead of awakening, in my personal opinion, of course you do whatever you want, I sell them for dust, and I get the dust value out of them because launch type shards are not super, super common, but they're not super uncommon, but these tiers are very hard to get these shards. Very, very hard. And you need them for a lot of stuff. And at 400 dust, that that gets expensive. Same with the serpentine scale. The serpent scale. If you're going to start doing uh, weapons and uh, evolving your weapons to make the the, the exuberant, exuberant sabers, is that what they're called? The exalted sabers? I mean, just to make one of these sabers, it comes from a pristine. Just to make one takes a scale. And then if you want to make one of these sabers even more powerful and make it specific to a color, now it takes two. But it also literally doubles the damage so when it comes to leveling stuff up and awakening things um, it's kind of up to you what you want to do it's kind of your decision but the catalyst for the event will always be available in the store during the event um, support cards and ultra rares, guildmates can help you with all day long. But when it comes to the actual event cards, you are 100% on your own to get those yourself. We, we cannot help you. I wish we could, but we cannot. Um, with that being said, I would honestly recommend that any extra card that you do not want, need, or don't feel use of, Instead of just awakening it or using it to level up a card, if it's already at six stars, dust it. Save your dust. So that way you're able to buy the necessary catalyst. Because all I'm waiting for for her, two more shards, one crown, and then I'll have a complete set of all of the legends. That's all I'm waiting on. And I'll get it eventually. So, this is how you level up 
And this is how you awaken cards. Um, how you guys choose to do it is 100% up to you. This is just what most of us do. And this is my recommendations. Uh, again, if you guys have any questions, ask. Always happy to help. All right. Uh, enjoy the last day of the event, and everyone have a Merry Christmas.